and welcome to Hacking the Exile, the show that will make an in-depth uh, view on the Exile 6E webisodes filmed here in the European Parliament. Today I have a very special guest. I have the director of the episodes. I have Tess Lindholm. Welcome. Nice to meet you. So, welcome to the European Parliament. But this is not the first time you're here. No, I've been here several times, actually. And you're the, the director of the show. Director and producer. So usually I do all the editing, uh, but sometimes I also script and uh, ed um, yeah. What about filming? Um, usually that's done by one of the stagiaires, but when I'm here I also record some stuff that I think is interesting and try to learn. Uh, also Felipe that has been recording now lately, how what he should think about when recording and sound. When you're here, you were saying, but normally you're not here. No, normally I'm uh, in Sweden, uh, uh, where I work, um, and usually I work part-time, so... Yeah. So the editing and, and directing and producing is done from afar, from Sweden? Yes. And how did you end up working for Amelia? Um, from the beginning I was active in the Pirate Party and uh, when I um, quit after a couple of years um, I was asked to um, search for this role um, because they wanted a communicator and I'm studying communication uh, in uh, Helsingborg in Sweden. Which is part of the University of Lund? Yes. Um, so uh, they wanted a communicator and asked if I wanted to search and I did and I got the job so I'm studying and working at the same time right now. And uh, you also have some experience in, in producing films before? Yes, I've been a camera operator at DreamHack for example uh, which has been sent live in uh, SVT and Twitch TV for example so I'm a Familiar with uh, the surroundings, but usually I'm behind the camera and not in front of it. But today you're in front of it, yes. uh, and we're glad to have you here. Thank you. So, uh, filming live, making the webisodes, what's the difference? Well, uh, usually it's a lot more stress filming live, because things are happening, something goes wrong, you can't retake, and people are screaming at each other behind the scenes. Um, but that is, by the way, how we experience the actual filming done here in Brussels. A lot of screaming behind the camera. Mm. But uh, when you uh, record like this, you can always cut the screaming out, which is not possible otherwise. Um, but a lot of it is the same, how you place camera, what you should think of, lighting and sound. So, so let's go back to the episodes. You've directed all episodes all the way since the first season yes. uh, and in the first season there were three episodes I think and then we've increased the pace. Mm -hmm. uh, is it becoming easier to make the episodes as time goes by or do you get a routine out of it? Or? Um, absolutely, I haven't done a lot of editing before so now when I started editing of course it goes quicker and quicker for each episode I make and also um, the information I get is better now. The, the, there is better recordings, which means I don't have to sort out as much as I did before. And it's also better at uh, making the, them numbered, so I know which order to place them, which means I don't have to look everything through four or five times. How do you receive the films, the clips? Um, Felipe uploads them to an FTP server. Uh, from which I downlo download film uh, to my computer and then I have to uh, put it in my program. Okay, and then you produce the film and then you upload it to... To YouTube. And, to the no, and then we put it on the uh, web page through YouTube, right? Exactly. And uh, we have been talking about uh, putting it out as torrents as well. Uh, and uh, I was speaking, speaking to someone uh, today so hopefully we'll, we'll have them available as torrents in the future as well. That would be useless from the German Pirate Party, I think. Um, yeah, perhaps. Uh, okay, so hopefully you will be able to see all the XL60 episodes as torrents in the near future. Yes. Uh, and uh, let's speak about the future shows. Mm -hmm. What can we expect from this season? Well, uh, there is a lot more information in the webisodes now than there were before. Uh, we have been 
getting better at uh, knowing what to film and how to get as much information in uh, the amount of time that we have the webisode. Um, and uh, I think we will get more storylines. So, uh, for example, we have two um, webisodes about uh, the data protection directive right now. And I think we will see more of that in the webisodes. So they are starting to get um, more together than before. Okay. And we have also had on Hacking the Exile about the data protection direct, uh, regulation, mm -hmm. which was the last one. And, uh, well, uh, the intro to the webisode, mm -hmm. it changed from the second to the third season. Yes. Uh, tell, tell us about the intro. How, how did you get the idea for that? Because that's a very integral part of the, of the show. Yeah, uh, well, from the beginning we followed Amelia through the corridors, but the intro was quite long for such a short webisode. It was about one minute, so we needed to shorten it to about half a minute. And um, I also wanted to introduce everyone in the show in the intro, so you can uh, see their name and know their title. Um, so. I was thinking that I wanted to present the European Parliament to see different environments and to also see the people, so that's why they are actually integrated. So you can see the surroundings at the same time as you see the people and you also get a feeling for uh, how big the Parliament is and that you are walking a lot in corridors, you are talking at, on the go because you don't have time to sit down and talk all the time. So that's what I wanted to include. And uh, the music also changed? Uh, yes, uh, mainly because it was hard to uh, shorten the music that we had before. So we needed something new and also when you change the intro it's fun to have some new mu music. We had heard the other one and it's time to introduce a new CC uh, song. Will there be a new intro for uh, season 4 or do you think that this intro will stay for a longer time? I think it will stay for a longer time, but perhaps we will see a new intro uh, for the autumn. Uh, this, uh, yeah, for the autumn, perhaps. And okay. uh, sometimes there are new stagiaires and so uh, also, and perhaps we want to include them in the intro then. Okay, and this week, what will you be, I mean, you're currently in, in, uh, in Brussels, but you're not only here to be interviewed by me, obviously, no. even though this is a very important part of the week, but what else will happen this week when you're here? Well, um, we need to discuss uh, the communication in the office, how we uh, communicate with the public, so um, how we use the Facebook page, the Instagram account, uh, and also the blog. And we are going to... And uh, Hacking the Exile show. Yeah, exactly. Is... And we are uh, about to release a new website as well. And we need photos for the, the new website. And um, that's what I'm good at. Okay, so a lot of communication this week. Yes. And there will also be a live streaming this Thursday, which will be the first live streaming we do from, uh, from our external office. Yes. So Amelia will be live streamed on Thursday uh, so people can ask her questions directly and this is one step further to be able to communicate better with our viewers from the Exile and Hacking the Exile shows and also other people that want to ask her questions about her work in the parliament and we think it's an important part to um, discuss with the public. Okay, so live streaming this Thursday at half past six and you will be able to ask questions directly there. But if you don't want to ask questions directly, of course you can ask questions to the Hacking the Exile show where we can bring them up. We actually got one question for this show and that is, how long does it take for you to make a webisode? Well, usually it takes about one week, but it's not one week of constant work. Um, I have to download everything from the FTP. Uh, and that takes several hours to because there's a lot of materials. So I would say that I put down 10 hours editing, perhaps. Uh, and the other 10 hours is downloading, rendering, uh, putting up on YouTube, uh, and also sending the webisode back and forth because I want uh, you guys in Brussels to be able to give feedback and yeah, so about one week and then when the computer is rendering, I do other stuff like 
f Facebook, Instagram, um, and um, so that was the answer to the first viewer question ever. If you have a viewer question for future episodes of Hacking the Exile, feel free to post them in the comments uh, on, on this film. Uh, or send them an email to anyone in, in our office. And next week we will be back, well actually it will be two weeks as usual, till next show. We will be back with Amelia talking about her experience of Brussels, this wonderful city that we all love so dearly. Until then, have a good time and... Uh, Thank you for watching.